everyone, welcome to Nitin Academy and I'm Nitin. And today, in PSLE Math 2022 Paper 2 Question Series, I'll be going through question 14. Okay, so let's get started. Okay, so today I'll be going through question 14. So let's take a look at it. So question 14 actually tests us on volume, okay? So let's read the question first. And there are actually two uh, parts to this question, part A and part B, okay? So let's read the question and solve for part A first. The figure shows the amount of water in two rectangular containers, X and Y, at first. Ray put one-fifth of the water from X to Y to fill it to the top. So Ray actually put one-fifth of the water from X to Y in order to fill it to the top without overflowing, okay? So for part A, they are asking us how much water was there in X at first. So how much water was there in X at first? So basically this amount over here, okay? So let's do this question. So first, what do we already know? The volume of water poured into Y. We can find this out really easily by taking 15 times 12 times 8, okay? So because this is the amount over here, which was not poured yet, right? So this is actually the amount of water need, needed to pour in order to fill it to the brim without overflowing. So this amount of water is actually 15 times 12 because 15 is also here and 12 is also here and 8 over here. Okay, so in order to do that, we just take 15 times 12 times 8, which will give us 4, 4, 1440 cm cube. So 1440 cm cube is Y's capacity, okay? Uh, Y's capacity, right? Okay, so basically, how much water was there in X at first? So if one, uh, sorry, this is not the capacity of Y, this is basically the the amount poured into y, okay? So how much water was there in x at first? So if one fifth of the water, okay, if one fifth of the water from x to y is poured, right? So one fifth is actually equal to 1440, okay? So one fifth is actually equal to 1440 cm cube, which means that we can find the amount of water at first, so which is basically 5 out of 5. So 5 out of 5 is actually 5 times uh, 1440, which will actually give us 7200 cm3. So it will give us 7200 cm3 as the answer for part A. So we, we need to take note that the water in X at first. So this is basically the water in X at first, okay? So the water over here for x at first, right? Is actually seven two zero zero. Okay, so this is really important. So now that we are done with part A, let's move on to part B. Okay. Okay, so let me just write down the at first volume of x because that was the previous answer, right? And it might be useful for part B. So let's take a look at part B. So let's uh, read the question first. So it's the same thing in the next. They are telling us that Ray then put all the water from Y into X. So 1, 2, 0. So 120 cm cube of water overflowed from X. What was the height of X? Okay, so... They're telling us that Ray then put all the water from Y into X, right? So Y into X. So Y's capacity. So let's find Y's capacity first, okay? So in order to find Y's capacity, we are just going to take 15 times 12 times 14 plus 8. So 15 times 12 times 14 plus 8 is actually 15 times 12 times 22, which will give us the answer of 3960 uh, 3, cm3. So this is basically the cup. Capacity. Capacity meaning the total volume of Y. Okay, so this was actually poured into X. So 3960 
plus 7200 is actually equal to x minus 1 to 0 okay meaning that meaning that in order to find uh, how much the height of x right we need to know how much water was actually poured into x so we can find out the we can take the volume divide by 20 and 15 which will give us uh, take the volume divide by 20 times 15 which will give us the height okay so we need to find the height of x okay so we don't know this so you know that 120 cm cube of the water overflowed from x right so when we are uh, we can actually take 3960 minus 120 to find out the actual amount of water poured into x so we are going to take volume of water needed to fill x to the brim is actually 3960 minus 120 is actually 3840 so 3000 840 cm cube of water is needed to fill x to the brim so the capacity of x is actually a uh, four fifth of seven uh seven seven thousand two hundred because um he already poured one fifth of the water from x right so four fifth of seven two zero zero plus plus um plus 33840 3, is actually the capacity of x okay so let's do that okay 4 5 times 7200 0, 0, plus 3840 which will actually give us 9600 cm cube okay so that's actually the that's actually the capacity of x so now all we need to do in order to find the height of x is to actually take the volume, basically the capacity, divided by 20 times 15, okay? So we are going to take the height of x, which is actually 9600, divided by 20 times 15, which will give us 32 cm, okay? So the height of x is actually 32 cm, as you can see. And that is the answer to this question for part B. And now we are done with part A and B. And with that, I've come to the end of this video. And I hope you understood what I've taught you today. And thank you and bye-bye. I'll see you in my next video. Bye.